Right, so there's been a few things that's been going on. Firstly, got the keys for the new place. Brilliant news. But once I got into it, there's a few works that needs done. So like a new rear door. Needs wallpaper brought down and repaint then some holes sealed it will require cavity wall tie inspection and rising damp inspection so I need to get that done but before all that I woke up this morning and I had a quick check on my phone as you do what's happened is um, a leak from upstairs basically so it's not something that come from in our place, we're on the bottom floor. But she sent me a video and it's come from above. So luckily I've got upstairs number, so I told them to turn off the mains. Going to go around and assess the situation. Now I pulled out my insurance documents, it says floods, weather etc. As well as out of a tank or mains. So I should be covered. However, this is what our not coming from us, coming from someone else, so surely it's their insurance policy. It may be possible for us to sort it ourselves, it may be possible for turn off the mains, see if there's a perished pipe, o-ring, whatever, put it back together. I've once had one flood in my own house, got in at night, went to go to bed, found a little drop on the floor. Uh, upon looking closer, when I push down on the laminate, it squeezes up the line. So it's actually been sitting on that level for a while, my tank's on the upper floor. It's not went all the way through downstairs, but instead it's hit the ground and went across. Uh, I did call plumbers uh, but they weren't able to come quick. I did find out where it was coming from, it was a perished o-ring over time and what I had to do was turn off the mains, turn off the supply going to it, to that location, loosen that off, put some PTFE tape in it and tied it up again and it worked it held out for as long as I needed it that's all the matters really isn't it uh, I sold the house and that's that a proper fix you should have got the whole ring sorted um, there is a common one with the boilers remember the name now. It's a release valve, it's a pressure release valve, multifunction. And what that does is, when there's too much pressure, it pushes something up and it allows the pressure to release and then go back, to, go back down, right? But if it's hard water and it's pushing up, then you start to get like hard elements of the water. So it'll come through and when it dries, it dries, it crystallises and it prevents the stopper from going back down again creating a good seal so when this happens, it fails that will need replaced that will just let all the water out so we're going around now see if we can stop the water, see what it is and basically assess the damage but I am insured I hope upstairs is because really it's their fault and we'll need to get this sorted not the headache I want when I've just got a new place and I want to be concentrating on that 
I did see a post recently explaining be a landowner, not a landlord. I'll say it again. Be a landowner, not a landlord. We're in the business to generate income, yeah, but to generate retirement, etc. We want to be hands off, really, because as we build up, it's going to create a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. Problems just like this. What I want to be doing is freeing up my time to do the business. I don't want to be dealing with a headache of this. I mean, I've only got a few now, but as I move up, 10, 20, whatever, as you go up, you're going to get more and more of these calls all times of the night. You're working yourself into a, another job, really. So it's, it's worth thinking about putting out to agency. Now at first I thought, oh, they're taking 10%. And yeah, it's quite a lot, taking all your money. I don't agree with it. But multiple times, investors have told me, put it out to an agent, it's worth it. I'm getting, getting nothing but headaches right now. So, might just need to do that. So yeah, that's what's happening now. I think I'm, I'm far along on my journey enough to to appreciate the importance of getting it managed. And maybe in future, I'll be able to just employ someone directly to manage them all. Because let's be fair, 10% of every property is quite a lot. So yeah, hope you found some value. Um, that's the experience and that's my reasoning for going into fully managed. So. I'll keep you posted what's happening. Cheers.